The last video I did was for sardines, which I also caught at the pier and prepared at home. It was really tasty and full of great health benefits. So that kind of inspired this mackerel video, which is also one of the most healthy fish options out there. I'm gonna be grilling the mackerel and serving that over brown rice and grilled vegetables with a special sauce. Make sure to stick around because I'm also gonna talk about why I think a lot of people don't like mackerel and what I'm gonna do with this dish that should eliminate those concerns and change your mind about eating mackerel moving forward. All right, we got a bigger one here. The biggest one yet. What is this? This is not a lizard fish, I can tell you that. What is this? Could this be that big mackerel that we're after? Okay. What is this? Tighten the drag here so I can get him up. Okay, it looks like there's two fish here. These guys are these mackerel. It's big, very big. Oh my goodness! Greenback mackerels, guys. Big greenback mackerels. Check that out. We did it. We came out here for some greenback mackerels, and we got some some pretty good sized ones too. These are going to be delicious. Really nice. So mackerel is one of those fish that people tend to not like as much as other fish. And quite honestly, I was in that camp too. So I broke down the reasons why I didn't like mackerel. And I tried to see if I could address those concerns with how I prepared it. And I'm talking about cooked mackerel. I don't think it's any secret that mackerel has a strong fishy flavor. And in most cases, that fishiness is coming from the blood. One thing I should have done was bleed it right after I caught it. So to compensate for that, I put it in sake, which is a proven method in Japan to help neutralize those off-putting flavors and remove some of that blood. And I really soaked it a lot, a lot more than you probably see in other recipes. So the second reason why I've never been a big fan of mackerel is the meat can get dry when it's cooked too long. So my plan is to cook it at a really high heat with those coals really close to the grate, because I want to get that char on the outside fast and not dry out the meat inside by cooking it too long. All right, it's time to prep our vegetables for the grill. I'm gonna keep the vegetables large at this point to make it easier for grilling. Then I'm gonna drizzle it with a little olive oil and sprinkle some salt fire up the grill. For small dishes like this, I really like using this small portable grill. You don't have to put a lot of charcoal in it before it's really close to the grate. We're gonna put it on and wait till we see the sides start browning before we turn it over. Those are done. Now we can put our fish on the grill. While we're waiting for our fish to cook, we can start chopping our grilled veggies. So I know what you're thinking, that's burnt. But that char is where a lot of the flavor is. It's why you grill in the first place. You want that unique char flavor. All right, the fish is done. Just gonna take off the meat from the bone. And it's time to put everything in a bowl, starting off with a bed of brown rice. I'm gonna add some finely chopped chives. And I'm gonna whip up a real simple sauce of chili crisp, olive oil, and rice wine vinegar. All right, here's our grilled mackerel on top of brown rice. And we're serving it with grilled vegetables. We got our yellow and red bell pepper, as well as our asparagus. So what do you think? It's really good. The fish has tons of flavor. A maybe a little bit too much flavor because of all the sake that's been soaked in here. Yeah. 
You know, I think if I were to do this again, I'd probably soak it in the sake for a little bit less time. Uh, but I really wanted to get rid of that, you know, fishy flavor that mackerel is really known for and get rid of some of the blood because I didn't bleed it when I caught it. So I think I overcompensated a little bit and I put it in the sake for a little bit too long. But um, other than that, it's still delicious actually. I mean, for me personally, it's, it's not too strong with sake, but you can taste it for sure. One of my concerns that I talked to you about before was mackerel can be really dry if you cook it at a really, uh, you cook it for a long time. And we cooked it at a really high temperature, and I think that that made a huge difference. So we got this great char on the outside, but it's very, very soft and tender on the inside. So that dryness that kind of is known for mackerel is completely gone. A lot of that flavor that we got is definitely in the char. I don't care if you're grilling steaks, hot dogs, vegetables. If you wanna get something that's really flavorful off the grill, you gotta get that char. Thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. So if you'd like to try out some more heart healthy dishes, check out this video right here where I prepare a delicious ceviche dish with margaritas. All right, the margarita isn't exactly heart healthy, but hey, you gotta live a little, right?